Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're Sambo and joining us as always is Definity, our level 17 dual pistol wielding sorcery based superhero as we stand beneath the full moon of Gotham City as the Zeppelin there lazily stretches across the sky with its beam shining down. Oh, I love this city. And of course, if you're with us in the last episode, you'll remember that we uh, started on the whole Poison Ivy uh, storyline, if you like. We've got a couple of quests here. One is called the Garden of Etim, uh -huh. and another one here called A Twisted Web, where we have to defeat Blood Roots and collect Cocoon Suspinners. Suspinners? Cocoon Spinners. And another one here where we have to approach and investigate the pheromone source in the Otisburg Botanical Gardens. But I think the most uh, nearby one is A Twisted Web here. Let's have a look on the old map and see how close it is exactly. And yeah, look at that. We're right next door to so let's rip right into it folks without further ado actually there is one thing we have to do of course what have I forgotten that is right We've got to uh, summon our pet and here we go here's a blood root in fact it looks like most of our quest objectives are gonna be here I'd say and you can see these guys are by the way the same level so we've got to be just a little bit careful now I've got something on a timer over there you know what, I'm going to use a knockback here. Oh, I'm stunned! Oh, and I ran out! Good lord! Already! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let me get... There we go. Free Cocoon Citizens. So if I don't free them, then they'll turn into these plant monsters here, and we don't want that. Because this is going to get just a little bit rough, <clears throat> because they are same level, of course. In fact, already need to give myself a bit of a heal. And there we go, destroying the pod pheromone emitters as well. So that's actually quite rough. Do have to take care here. All right, so what I want to try and do first is sneak up on these guys and get as many of these as I can. But of course, we get stunned. Not a good start. Here we go again. Will I get stunned again? No, it looked like it was actually an effect from a mob. I thought it might have been from actually opening those up. Here we are, a Gotham citizen, rescue a pheromone smitten citizens, and we're stunned again. All of these pheromones and seeds that are getting pumped into the air here, not doing very, uh, not doing it much good to us, rather. Now, why did that not trigger? Let's try, oh, I'm stunned again. Okay, let's see if we can knock these guys out of the way. I can't. There we go, and, oh, now I really, really want to get this one off. There we go. And boy, do I need a heal. This is going to be hairy. Will my soda come off cooldown? And yes, just in time. That was nail-biting stuff, folks. Right on the edge of my seat there, because these guys are really tough. I need to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Oh, and look at that. That was bound to happen. Whew. Okay, so we've got to uh, slightly rethink our strategy here, methinks, because these guys are just a little bit rougher than I'm paying them credit for. Same level, which means, of course, if there's two of them, it's basically twice me beating up on me and we can't have that now don't forget folks if you do get uh, rezzed at one of these terminals that you use it because of course that means you may well be able to actually get rezzed there again in the future rather than being miles away all right what's this let's have a look something we've got to use as well oh and it's spewed out a whole bunch of stuff oh come on let me at it let me at it let me at it there we go Right now, of course, I haven't summoned my pet either. Whoops. Now, I really, really, really need to quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, I missed it again. You know what? I'm just movement when I'm trying to target things in this game has always been a bugbear for me. And it, you know what? Now is no different. It's just really hard. And we're getting a bit of server lag here as well. Now, let's have a look where we were. Okay, we're way over there because I was just thinking to myself, hang on, they don't look the same. <laughs> Whoops. And of course, I missed a collectible over there as well while we are over in the other area before we died. But fortunately, it's not too far to go, especially when we have our super speed. All right. Oh, and I can see a quest over there. Let's go back and just grab that, just in case it's something nearby, because what are the odds that it is? They always are. Hazmat Rhodes, what have you got for us? Transport green ivy seed pods for hazmat research. Okay. So that's not exactly part of what we're doing right now, which is what I want to get back to. Because I want my collectible! I sound like a whingy, whiny kid there, don't I? Right, now where was it? Was it somewhere around here? I'm pretty sure it was like on this corner or something. No? Oh, there it is. Well, there's one. Anyway, I'm not sure if it's the same one. 
Let's have a look on the map in a minute. Forensic toxicology report. The toxins in this rose cause immediate paralysis. Thank you for that. Uh, don't, well, I don't know who you were. I was going to say Lois Lane, but you're not necessarily Lois Lane. But it wasn't a very good update, was it? No. Anyway, all right. Now, this is what I need to try and get. If I can get these things here. There we go. One, two. Fortunately, they're nice and instant. Oh, come on. Target properly. There we go. Now, I want to... Whoops. Look at that. I went to call my pet, and instead, what did I do? I used up a healing potion. Great start there. Not. All right. Going to try and keep ourselves topped up here as well in terms of health. And look at that, we're stunned already. It's these stuns that really kill us. And look at that, using a beam on absolutely nothing. I'm on fire tonight. That's right, it's my elite uber skills. <laughs> oh dear, not doing too well, are we? All right, let's see if we can rescue some of these guys again. I need to go shower. I can feel Ivy. All right, so doing pretty good. Not getting any interruptions here. But we, well, we're getting a lot of server lag, but no actual interruptions from mobs yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, don't interrupt me. There we go. Alright, gonna try and do our combos again. And for some reason I can't seem to pull them off. Let's try it on this static object. One, hold, and hold. And there we go, the loft shot. That's what I was after there. All right, so we've got what? We've got 4 out of 10 pod pheromone emitters destroyed. We've got 8 out of 10 cocoon citizens freed. We've got to rescue pheromone smitten citizens. We've done 4, only 4 out of 15 of those. And take cocoon spinners from Venus flytraps, 1 of 10. Of course, the Venus flytraps are the mobs that are wandering around. Brain squash. Hey, thanks. And it's these pheromones that are stunning us, I've obviously just noticed. Rescue pheromone smitten citizens, 6 out of 15. Oh dear, there we go. Alright, now where is my pet? Ah, there. I thought it had run off on me. And there we go, and of course when we do kill those pods, there's a bit of a knockback there as they explode and their gooey goo stuff gets all over us and sometimes it seems to stun us as well. Alright, now we've got these guys on timers. Can I actually... No, I'm stunned. I'm trying with all my might to target these blimmin' things. You know, use the lock on to target and to get them before they run out of time. Can I do it? Yes, I only got one. Damn. And of course, that has spawned another mob, which is really bad. I want to try and avoid that at all costs. Fortunately, of course, these Gotham citizens here aren't on a timer. They just stand there for as long as it takes. Now, why? Oh, I was going to say, why is it a female voice when it's a male model? But actually, there was a female model there, so my bad. All right, what's that? Oh, I'm not sure what that was. All right, there's a Venus flytrap thing or a blood root. That's what we're after. Oh, and I'm stuck. I just continually get stunned with these guys. And again. Right, let's lock on. We've really got to start locking on with these mobs because it's just no good without doing that. We're hitting all sorts of wrong things, We're swapping targets left, right, and centre. And of course, that is the most ineffective way you can do things, pretty much. Need a knockback very quickly. And we're dead. Look at that. That's because we had a Venus flytrap, we had the stun spores, we had the thorn there, we had all sorts of things ganging up on us. Dear me, this is pretty rough, isn't it? And of course, it is, once again, same level stuff, which uh, is always a challenge. Especially when we've got this lag going on. I'd really like to know what is causing that. Certainly, to the best of my knowledge, not anything that I've done. Maybe it's just the awesomeness of a Gotham City that causes lag. We'll call it Gotham Awesome Lag. 
or gal for short. There we go, we've invented a new term. Okay, that's lame. Never mind. Right, now let's see if we can sneak in here. Are there any mobs around? No. Right, so we need these citizens. We should be getting close to the count now. What are we up to? 9 out of 15. Come on. Holy brain squash. Hey, thanks. But I gotta get out of here. Defeat the flash. And of course, what have I forgotten? It's right, it's pet time. And look at that, we are nearly dead already. This is nuts. And I just can't pull off a combo, it would seem. Why? One hold hold. One, hold, hold, and we're nearly dead again. Gosh, this is this is turning into one of those frustrating quest areas again. Although, ah, uh, I don't know. Where is my pet? My pet is gone. Alright, let's see if we can pull this blood root. Come on, come here. God, talk about cheap and nasty. How's that? Got it down to nearly 10% health. And it's pretty much dead. Alright, we're being a lot more controlled now and doing a lot better. Let's make sure, of course, that we're putting dots on these guys. They haven't been doing it, and to be honest, it is quite hard when you're being stunned all the time to pull off combos because of course you whack the heck out of your button and nothing happens because you're stunned like that smells like all right let's try this again I gotham citizens come on that smell i couldn't break away thanks that all right there we go 12 of 15. yeah i'm trying to pull off this combo let's try again one hold hold all right, now it worked. Join us or die. All right, it seems to be doing it okay now, and in fact the lag is gone as well. So that just really makes me wonder about how much lag does affect combos. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because they're timing based, and if you're lagged out, then it is absolutely going to affect the timing of your combo. There's no doubt about that. But the point is that it affects them so much to the point where you can't actually pull them off. And you can see it lag a little bit there, and again, I lost a combo. Alright, 12 I, out of 15 of these citizens, I these pheromone smitten smell. citizens. 13 now. Thanks. Well, it was lucky. I thought I was going to get interrupted again there. But I did get... Look how much they damaged me. It's amazing, isn't it? And there we go. Okay, one more cocoon, uh, rather pheromone smitten citizen, and we're done for that quest. And here they go. Here, like we're probably going to get stunned straight away. I yeah, what a surprise! Brain squash. Hey, All right, there we go. Let's have a look in our journal and Garden of Eden. There we go. Poison Complete. ivy's pheromones can make anyone fall in love with her. Usually, it's only at close range. These distance attacks are something dangerously new. Thank you for that, Oracle! And we need another cola because we're going to die, basically. <laughs> Let's use our beam. Oh, what? Look at that. that. Did you see that? That was insane! I'd just, I'd used a heal and I'd used a cola, but no. Basically, insta-kill and yeah. This is not much fun, to be honest. Maybe what we need to be doing is going back to, I've got some other quests in the log, of course because I'm doing a bit of a naughty here, what we're meant to be doing is the earlier level quests because we didn't want to um, sort of out level them, uh, which is bad, so uh, let's have a look here, we've got Mirror Mirror at level 10 in Metropolis and we've got a Twisted Web, uh, no wait a minute, Seeds of Change in Burnley, oh, maybe that's what we should be doing, where's that? Collect seed pods for hazmat roads. Okay, that's only level 10. You know, we're just going to take a break over it and do that one there. We'll see how close it is. All right, you can see it's not that far away. 
uh, because honestly, I think we just, like I said, we don't want to let these uh, low-level quests linger around in our quest log because it didn't do the best for us when we were on our last tune. Our supervillain Seraphis ended up with all these useless quests and, of course, nothing much to do later on in the game. So what we might have to do is head back to Metropolis very quickly and uh, pick up the slack on that low-level quest. That's in our log. We'll see what happens. Here we go, an actual collectible as well. All right, what do we need to do here? Collect seed pods. All right. Oh, and I'm trapped in a seed pod. Okay. Now, this is very interesting because apparently this is level 12. Okay, you can see in the quest log. We'll have a look at it in a minute. And in fact, it's just updating all my other quests. That's interesting. You can see in my quest log that it is indeed level 12, and yet these mobs are like level 17. So how does that work, SOE? What, are you trying to get us killed? Are you trying to annoy us? Yeah. You can see there, Bloodroot, level 17, right? Okay, let's have a look at the log, and there it is, it's level 12. So how does that work? It's just a little bit silly if you ask me, and of course we're paying the price for it here. Need to summon our pet, need to have a heal. Right, now let's kill off this thing, or whatever it is, it's stunning us all the time. And there we go, update, destroy spore cannons. And I think we've actually got to destroy 10 of those. Yep, one out of 10. And look at that, we've got ourselves an investigation. Jolly good. Always nice to come across one of those. Dispatch, this is Bullock. Bat sent in the boy wonder, but there's no word. I see you and the new heroes should be on this Oh shit, it's Solomon Grundy. Excuse my French. Yikes. Bullock, use extreme caution and your rebreather against IV spores. Yeah, yeah. I can't breathe through my nose anyway. Damn, that noise. Bullock out. Oh dear. Am I in trouble or what? That was Grundy. And of course, Grundy is a world boss. I was just looking at the red dot on my map thinking there's a mob. And guess who it turned out to be? Yeah, him. Oh, and he's grounding us. He says, smash humans. Come on, let me get out of here. Whew. Alright, hopefully we manage to escape. Alright, need to resummon our pet there. It's because we lost it to probably Solomon Grundy, I'd imagine. Give ourselves a heal. Throw some dots around here, we really need to do that. And use our beam on the seedling over there. There we go, we're collecting spore dust samples from the thorns. Now you see these things here to the side, that we've got to pick up near the seeds. And of course they have that familiar icon on them where we have to actually pick them up and drop them off at a drop-off point. And you can see there it is over there, just follow the arrow and look for it over in the distance. Because of course the indicator for it basically shines through all scenery so you'll never be shy on it. Remember too that you can use your old speed boost. There we go, a message saying by the way that the world is going to shut down in 30 minutes. So fortunately we'll have more than enough time to finish off this episode. Alright, here's a spore cannon. And Death Blossoms. Okay, these these little things. I haven't seen them before. Alright, and we've got something on a timer over there. Pull in another one. Come on, come on, come on, run. You see, I'm holding down A there. Or rather, yeah, no, E. What am I holding down? I'm holding down W. Gosh, get it right there. Oh, so frustrating. I was just literally... Okay, I'm going to actually call it out next time. Because what happens is the animations play through. It's the worst design ever. Animations play through, and even though you're holding down your direction button, nothing actually happens. It's just horrible. Now, I'm wondering if I'm actually meant to be destroying those, by the way, because they have that use icon above them. That makes me nervous. Makes me wonder what I'm meant to be doing with them. Come on, let me at it. There we go. Crazy. I couldn't stop staring at Ugly Plan. Alright, and another one. Thank heavens you up. Alright, so where are we off to? Have we got out, out of the zone or have we updated to a different quest? Looks like we've updated to a different quest now. 
collecting seed pods one out of five looks like that's what we've got to do and of course we are in the Giordano Botanical Gardens here is that oh no I thought that was Grundy again someone called Mandrake or a mob called Mandrake Collect spore dust samples from thorns. That's interesting that that actually came up then because that wasn't a thorn. Never mind. Let's see if we can grab this from out under the nose of these guys. Yes, we did. All right, as we super speed over to the drop off point. Whoops, did I miss it? I did. Now I'm not sure what's updating there, it might be, well I don't know what it is, I couldn't see anything actually update in my quest tracker there. We'll keep doing it in the hope that something is updating, that we're doing the right thing. Once again, rather poor quest descriptions uh, always have been and no doubt always will because so many people have complained about it and they haven't done anything about it. It seems like it was sort of half finished there. I don't know what you're doing devs. Well actually I'm not going to blame the devs, I'm going to blame the producer. Because ultimately it's your responsibility, mate. Come on. What are you doing? Right, so this appears to be counting towards the uh, update of defeating uh, Spore minions or something. And of course we want to go over and destroy this thing as well. Yeah, update destroy spore cannons three out of ten and I want to hop over here and get this collectible that I saw before it was bugging me and it's still there thank goodness no one else came along and picked it up forensic toxicology report the petals of this flower are teeming with potent pheromones once again a very short <coughs> short sharp and swift update from whoever that woman is Definitely mincing her words there, that's okay. Some of them, it's funny, some are super, super duper long, embarrassingly, annoyingly long, and some are just, yeah, like that, ridiculously short. Oh ah, well. Variety is the spice of life, I guess. And there we go, we got ourselves a green item. Don't know if you noticed that went into our bags. Whoa, trapped. And we need to give ourselves a heal, and I want to lock on to you, please. And trapped again! Venus Flytrap living up to its name there. Give ourselves a heal, we'll give this thing a bit of a beam. And there we go, right, let's lock on to this thorn. You see there that they're dropping those question marks, and of course, in DCU, the quest items are in the form of those little question mark uh, orbs if you like and of course that means that they're a quest item so something in your log will indeed count in the upwards direction which is always good and there we go another message the world shutting in 25 minutes gosh time goes fast doesn't it all right got a little bit more time before the end of this episode so let's carry on here what have we got We've got ourselves a thorn we'll concentrate on you and we're trapped in a seed pod, I must say, the mechanics are, yes, they're frustrating, but they are kind of cool at the same time. Lock onto this thorn, use the beam again. Now we'll lock onto this blood root and just pummel him. There we go. Do the same with this. Let's use our knockback ability, see if it makes a difference. Now, it took a little bit of a chunk out. It's more for the utility of actually knocking back enemies rather than just damaging, I think. And of course, I keep forgetting to use our dots as well. We really, really need to uh, use them because they're a massive part of our DPS makeup. There we go, using my combos there. So sometimes they manage to uh, pull off, other times they don't. Let's give ourselves a bit of a heal, put a dot on this thing. Okay. 
And there you go, you can see we've got Take Cocoon Spinners from Venus Fly Traps, 8 out of 10. Collect Spore Dust Samples from Thorns. Oh, look at that, use the breakout ability 100 times. Put ourselves a little achievement there, always nice. Um, collect Spore Dust Samples from Thorns, 14 out of 15. Destroy Spore Cannons, 6 out of 10. And collect Seed Pods, 2 out of 5. And of course, Seed Pods are the ones that we're having to do the delivery on. Do like that beam, that's very cool. Oh bugger, that, was, that wasn't what I wanted to destroy, it um, was a pod that we meant to collect and take back to the truck, whoops. Uh oh, we've aggroed something nasty here, time for a knockback. Alright, let's lock on to this Gallows Oak, which looks like a rather formidable foe. Alright, time to take out one of these seed cannons, or spore cannons. There we go, 14, no, 7 out of 10 of those. So three more to go. It's quite an effort, isn't it? There's quite a lot to do in this particular series of quests. And all bunched up together, of course. Oh, and trapped. So once again, of course, folks, locking on, which is the best thing you can do. And of course, I don't do it nearly enough. But you want to do that so you concentrate on getting one of them down. There we go, and we've completed one of the quests. Let's lock on to the seedling. And the loft shot there, which knocks them up, juggles them, like I said, a couple of episodes if you're used to, uh, you know, your Street Fighter type stuff, or pretty much any fighting game. <coughs> the cob cob bleh, concept of juggling shouldn't be all that uh, unfamiliar to you. All right, let's have a look in our journal, see which one we actually did. A Twisted Web, there we go. We'll complete that, get ourselves a bit of cash and a bit of XP. really want my knockback at this point. And look at that, it spawns another seedling. No wonder there's so many mobs around these these uh, pods or whatever they're called because there's just a constant influx of enemies as they kind of get birthed from death almost. And yet again, I'm floating in the air. I want to be on the ground. Come on. There we go. Alright, clean that up and there we go. Update spore cannons. One more to finish off the episode, I think. Uh, not before we get this investigation, of course. And look at the scenery around here, by the way. Isn't it fantastic? Such a great job done by the artist. The mood is perfect. Here we go, some collectibles and a, another one over here. Look at that. Really does feel like a old, dark and dingy park, doesn't it? In the middle of, middle of Gotham City. So well done. Forensic toxicology report. One prick from this rose and we'd need to call the coroner. Oh, yowch. And another one. Look, it's our lucky day. Forensic toxicology there we go. Report. Investigation complete. You have completed the Ruby Hybrid Rose. Always good. All right, we want the blood root. Lock onto you. Let's see if we can get ourselves out of here a bit. Pull them over here. All right, seedling, you are mine. All right, what spawned there? A gallows oak. No problem. Give you a bit of a beam and we'll give you a pullback and also a dot you will have a dot and good old loft shot there taking out a huge chunk of damage and look at that we have leveled up what a better way then to end an episode with becoming a level 18. Very good. New instance available. I'm not even going to bother because they don't list them. They don't tell you which one is new. Uh, we now have to meet Nightwing at East End Police Station. Of course, as you know, Nightwing is the original Bat uh, Robin, rather, not Batman. We've got a new PowerPoint. We'll check that out. And, of course, our journal has updated as well. Weeds of Oblivion. Get ourselves 80 cash. GCPD Radio says that Harvey Bullock went into Ivy's greenhouse to try and shut this down. Since Robin hasn't reported back... I'm betting we have a rash of trouble on our hands. 
Aha, uh -huh, very funny. And of course, did you see there, folks, by the way, we got ourselves a new achievement there, or feat, of course. Uh, and there we go, Ambassador Complete 100 Missions. Very nice. So uh, let's go into our K menu because we've probably got an extra feat point from the achievement menu there. Got a power point and a skill point. So let's have a look. We'll go back out into the skills, go into weapons, because that's nice and easy. Of course, uh, all I'm doing at the moment is increasing our restoration points. So there we go, three out of three for the passives there, or rather the innates, as they're called in DC Universe Online, of course. Let's have a look at our powers here. What's in Destiny? Um, what do we have? We've got another heal here. Heals yourself and up to seven nearby allies. That could be interesting. Uh, hmm, what is in Summoning? Let's have a look. What's this? A boon of soul summons a barrier to prevent damage to you and up to three of your group members. Or we've got summon a fury. That could be interesting. Summons a destructive fury. Hold the summon fury button for three seconds to banish it. Well, why not? Let's try that. Now, will it actually take the place of my old pet? That's what I want to know. Or is it something that I actually have to uh, have alongside? So we'll hold the summoning button there. There we go. It's gone. Now let's see what happens if I do this. Hmm, it's interesting. All right, so if we open up our abilities menu, let's go into the loadouts here, and you can see we're on. Are we on healer? No, we're not on healer. Silly Sambo, we're on damage. Uh, let's just swap out our knockback, perhaps. Oh, look, it is different because you can see here one has got a dagger on it, and one's got a shield. So one's a guardian, and one is DPS. That's very interesting. Let's pop it over our number two ability there and let's see if we can actually have two pets out at once because I honestly don't know all right let's see okay it's one or the other by the looks of things okay all right that's good to know uh, definitely looks very different doesn't it as it spazzes out up there um, let's go back and sort out our powers and if we go back into our loadouts and into damage I'm actually gonna pop that one over there and I'm gonna put the dot pull uh, rather the death grip type ability there so I just want to have the damage one out at this point I think there we go. All right, so uh, as we finish off this episode, of course, we've still got to collect those seed pods, pods the one we, ones we have to pick up and drop off at the truck. Uh, plus, of course, we've also got, if we have a look in our journal, some other things that we need to do, root of all evil there. But I think what we really should do is go and hand in our exploration mission, which is down here somewhere. There we are, Gotham's Giordano Gardens. That's a level 15 exploration mission. And, of course, probably head over to the Tomorrow District and do this Mirror Mirror level 10 one. Uh, but otherwise, that's going to uh, slip by us, basically. And that's all the CSA, Beastie Morph, Wonder Woman stuff, I believe. Anyhow, that's it for us, of course. The iconic Gotham City full moon with the even more iconic Zeppelin solely making its way across the moon like a dark silhouette, like a bullet silhouette. Yeah, okay, I'm running out of metaphors now. Anyway, that's it for us, folks. Certainly hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you join me in the next one. More importantly, of course, hope you're having a great day at home or at work or wherever you watch these episodes. Until next time, it's me, Sambo, saying take care. We'll see you later, and bye-bye.